a very good morning to all um today let us discuss about in a case study where what is the embedded system inside your washing machine let us start with some introduction so in your home automation one among is your washing machine which is totally automated today in early stage we started with uh, manual then semi automatic and now it is fully automated uh, what and all an embedded system should have embedded system should have an user interface unit which means when you sell this washing machine in commercially you cannot ask them to go on insert wires or give 5 volt supply to a particular instant all that cannot be done so you should have some interface like keyboard display units and led which is normally used to indicate your uh, for visual aids contain sensors so when you look into washing machine alone there will be like three sensors mainly used one is water level sensor this water level sensor is to identify the level of water see for all condition the water filling inside your can tank is not same depending upon the cloth and depending upon the material of the cloth we try to change the water level if it is cotton you require more water okay so temperature sensor um it this is to increase the temperature of water so that dust can be easily removed then ph sensor is to identify how much amount of detergent you are going to add to your clothes inside your washing machine and how we will finally even we, with the help of this even ph sensor we will try to identify whether all soaps has been removed by the water so it contains actuators like spin agitate and motor control unit generally actuator is nothing but it is an electric pulse which controls any particular device normally all solenoid valves then agitators then motor whether to turn on or turn off turn the rotation all that things okay so finally we say it has an integrated embedded controller for controlling the washing machine operation sensors activators and input output device are interfaced to the input output subsystem of the embedded control unit the final thing is once you prepare a particular microcontroller for a particular task then it cannot be used for any other application which means a controller inside your washing machine cannot be used for any other application now this is now let us we say that it is a front loaded washing machine now let us see what is there inside this particular washing machine if you from outside we see that there is an opening inside you have a drum so let us see with a small video so this video what they are going to show is they will show you what is there inside your uh, washing machine how the drum is so this is what we call it as a drum so inside this drum only you are going to fill the water usually it is made up of titanium and this angle of inclination is provided such that water does not spill out so for that we just tilt it now they say this is for a 10 kg capacity so depending upon the capacity this drum size will vary okay if it is more than your drum size has to increase now this is how the drum is going to rotate and they are provided like some projection cs this we call it as agitators okay now this is the belt which has been connected and that is been connected to your electrical motor okay now there are advancement there are so many types of advanced motors which is been used they started with an induction motor and now they are going for brushless inverter motors okay for smooth operation there won't be any jerk now i told you there is some projection inside your drum which we call it as agitator so this is called agitator you know we can you can clearly see they will just show you what is that the small projections which is there which is going to agitate okay so water outlet from your mission which is drained so 
so you will have a water pump to pump water inside your machine and this is called the heating coil where you try to heat your water with the, this particular heating coil present okay so that is called as temperature sensor you have water controller and this and this what i am repeatedly saying that an agitator which when you your textile move towards it it will try to like normal rinsing it is being done when you do in manually when you wash your clothes so this is this is what there and this is where the soap you try to add your soap so from whenever it is required it will automatically take from this particular okay so marking are there you can put marking based upon the amount of clothes you put you can add it so this again they show how the water is okay so this video is just to show that uh, how the water enter and how the water has been heated then how the water has been drained all that such things okay um let us move on to the block diagram so when you say as a washing machine there should be some inputs and there should be some outputs the inputs are see when you going to start you have to declare start to your washing machine that you have to tell only if you tell through a switch then it will start then selector dial selector dial is nothing but what type of washing you have to do for the cloth which you have put in whether it is cotton silk or you required high speed low speed all that you will do your in your selector dial then water level sensors so in some washing machine you might have seen half tank full tank half tank is sufficient full tank is sufficient like that then temperature setting is usually given to you you can set 30 degree 40 degree 50 degree all such thing you can do so all this are the inputs which you are giving then our role comes in your embedded software or the program that is going to okay so that is after completing your washing it will indicate using an led indicator like blinking that it is over then it will indicate you have to add soap soap is not there in your tray try to pour some soap inside your tray then drum motor drum motor the your controller will declare whether the motor to run in clockwise or anti clockwise then this door lock option door lock option is if there is some child at home they try to open the washing machine when it is running so if it is top load that is not a problem front load you are not supposed to open so this will be kept locked till the completion of your washing machine till that even if you try you cannot open the door will be in locked condition then water pump is to pump in water and as well as to drain water from your washing machine water level we have so many sensors that sensors will tell about what is the water level inside you and water heater based upon the temperature you are setting the water heater will try to eat the water with the help of the coils present in your washing machine so this is the basic block diagram so all this what and all you are doing here it is a separate task okay we all know there is something called task and then something called state uh, for exam point of view you cannot go and draw this diagram so it is easier way of dry, drawing the diagram just you put a drum then you put they put the, call it as level sensor this level sensor is going to identify whether your water level has reached then you have a temperature sensor then water outlet and water inlet and there are some keys like light medium heavy this uh, tells how many clothes you are going to put then wash soak rinse some case i will externally wash itself then i want to just to use washing machine to soak and in some case i have even done the soaking outside just rinsing is more than sufficient so based upon that you have to select here you can select any one then the amount of cloth you are putting you say that i have one for one hour soaking means you press one and soak then it will be soaked for one hour then you can say rinse for one hour or rinse for 30 minutes like that all this is given option to you the your consumers okay so that is what this diagram is 
so in exam point of view you have to draw this particular diagram which is little bit easier compared to the previous one okay now let us start with brief summary required for operation so first of all how you are going to start the user select wash program only user is given the option so user will select whether cotton this is done using the selector dial that is what we told you have a dial called selector dial so first you have to select only after selection you can start that is nothing that you will start and then select so first thing itself pre requirement is you have to select then the user press press the start button start switch then door lock is engaged once the start is pressed thereafter door cannot be opened at any situation door will be permanently locked so that is what is saying you press start door lock is engaged thereby door cannot be opened water valve is open to allow water into the wash drum if the wash program involves detergent the detergent hatch is opened so you will pour the soap inside the cabin but the soap will enter only in the required state till that it will not be opened when the detergent has released the detergent hatch is closed once small amount will be taken and then again it will be closed the next is when full water level is sensed the water valve is closed if the program involves warm water then water heater is switched on when the water reaches the correct temperature the water heater is switched off so all this you can understand that it is going in sequence okay so now water is also heat so next step is washer motor is turned on so till this instant the motor is not on so you can understand that what is the sequence okay so once the motor is turned on it will rotate then motor goes through a series of movement that is forward reverse forward with the speed like slow speed then medium speed then maximum speed that also even depends upon the selection switch what you have done see if it is cotton you can go for high speed if you are putting silk inside your machine then that much speed is not required okay the precision set movement carried out depends on the wash program that the user has selected this is what i told so this portion depends upon what you are going to select at the time of starting then at the end of the wash cycle the motor is stopped okay so once that portion is over, that part of the program is over you will stop then the pump switch on to drain the water inside your drum when drum is empty the pump switched off door lock is released during this operation various leds are used to indicate whether the system in the wash are in cycle so see we cannot from the outside we cannot see whether temperature has reached see where well, how we started we said you press a dial after dial you say you start after you start it is thereafter it is happening inside which we cannot see for the consumer what we will do is now what and the washing machine is in what state is been indicated by the leds which has been provided outside okay now there is a two thing we we should know i think we have have a knowledge that is what is task and what is state i think last ppt video which i uploaded where you have seen so many state models uh, from that you can take a sequential state model for washing machine so washing machine goes with the sequential state model that if one condition is passed then it will move to next if that condition is passed then it will move to the next and it will go in a sequential order so you should know what is task and what is state task is a program state is based upon the state task is been called you will have n task in your washing machine all the task will have a separate 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 program if it is water control based upon water control what and all should be done that you will write it as a program and you will keep it and this program will be called based upon only state now what is the state you will identify then for that particular state you will decide what is the task to be done okay so let us move on with the uh, architecture or how we are going to follow in a sequence our design consists of system task this this alone i have to tell you the system task is nothing but a place where everything is recorded what and each state what is happening that will be recorded in your system task and this is for just a purpose of whether everything is carried out then the second one what i told is selector dial task okay now please understand task which means it is a small program where it will jump so it is like a switch case program so in switch case program we know 
there will be a switch case for each and everything so baby care will have a number sports will have a number synthetic will have a number mixed will have a number declared woolen dry rinse echo all this will have a individual numbers and if the knob is kept at that particular position we will start checking from each number and that number if that matches then that particular program will be called okay so you can even see here i am explaining about the system task so so each program you will start your program you declare what and all the states which is there so these are the states please remember there is a difference between state and your task okay now it will start it i have told it is a switch case it is, will be zero it will you will write here your switch case program you identify what is the state based upon the state you will do if you are giving any number which is beyond the number which is been used then it will say fault and it will remain in your zero state itself which means it will be in on but it will not do any process it will do process only based upon the proper selected numbers see one if it is kept in some proper place only then only it will start okay then we will see what and all the task has there start switch task is there door lock task see what will be the program written inside door lock task so it will nothing but you will place a sensor in your door once it is closed and once if the task start is been given thereafter it will wait only it will open if the program is completed so that will be the small three to four lines will be written inside your door lock then water level task digital hatch task water level water heater water temperature drum motor water pump okay now let us see a small example of your task which is nothing but water level task alone so how this task will start first it will start by sensing what is the current water level it is saying zero okay good enter inside the loop loop will say drum is filling water level is increasing now we will go on repeatedly say see based upon the selector switch see somehow if we, they have kept it in cotton so maximum of water to be filled is 50 that is what is been written in program so from the sensor you will continuously get the output and once it reaches 50 till that instant water will be filling once this 50 is reached it will come out and it will stop your water entering into your washing machine this is for filling and this is for draining in same case in draining i will open it then i will say whether i will check for zero and it will be constantly reducing once the value gets zero i will come out of it okay so this is what we going to we have seen with an embedded system in a washing machine if any clarification needed please comment thank you